camera, we now have dash cam video of the man investigators say dangled backpacks from the Lewis and Clark Bridge. It caused a huge traffic problem for hours yesterday between Rainier and Longview. Take a look. Ryan Wallace was driving from Rainier to Longview when suddenly he saw an older Chevy pickup parked on the side of the Lewis and Clark Bridge. Then, seconds later, he sees a man walking back to his truck. Oregon State Police say they believe that man is 61 year old Samuel Owen of Rainier. I didn't really think anything of it until I got home. He logged onto Facebook and then suddenly saw the reports of the bridge being shut down because state investigators didn't know what was inside the backpacks Owen left behind. It's quite interesting. <laughs> um, you know, the whole bomb scrap first was kind of scary to think about, but, uh, you know, it's just, it was just interesting to see. It's kind of fun to watch too on TV. After OSP's bomb squad arrived and sent their robot to check out the contents of the bag, they determined there was nothing dangerous inside, just miscellaneous items like clothes and knives. You never know now what, what could be out there. And looking what he was driving, I didn't really think he'd be capable of something like that. No. Just a few hours ago, the 61 year old man faced a judge in court in Columbia County, facing charges including disorderly conduct and unlawful possession of meth. Coin Six learned that Owen told investigators that he was just playing a joke on a friend by hanging his belongings from the bridge. He denied the meth was his. Now, the bridge closure costs many people a lot of money. The area is an industrial zone where workers are paid hourly. Although they were frustrated, they were still relieved that there was nothing explosive.